I have spent close to 400 hours inside Relica, getting my stats up for the Fremenic Trials, catching two extremely rare fishes and 5000 sharks in the search for the third one, spending hours and hours killing Lanzig for smithing supplies, and fletching a mountain of headless arrows. We are in the endgame now, with only a few goals left to achieve, and the grinds now boil down to this. 5000 silver bars, 200,000 headless arrows, 500,000 coins, and the fabled big shark. Welcome to Relica Extreme One Chunk. We are picking back right where we left off, which is the big shark grind. I'm about 70% of the way to level 81 fishing, and that is about 6,300 sharks caught. And I made this little graph for you, which is called a cumulative distribution function of geometric distribution, which is a very fancy and nerdy way of saying it's a drag calculator. So at the moment on the calculator, we are right about here. All of these little dots you see are levels. There's level 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, and 85. And on the horizontal axis, you can see the amount of sharks that I have caught. And on the left side, you can see the probability of me getting a big shark at some point of that grind. And yeah, I guess we'll just see how far we go until we get the big shark. We are a little bit dry at the moment, so not too bad just yet. Uh, hopefully not too many left to go, but we'll just see. I have been doing most of this as two-tick fishing. It's actually quite chill once you get in the rhythm. Uh, not too bad at all. And the nice thing is that I'm selling all of these sharks. We already have over 200k and we are going to need at least 5 or 600k for the fletching grind in the future. So yeah, it is going good. I'll check back with you once we have the big shark or some levels or something else interesting to see. Oh, and also between the episodes, I did get a Leo random, so I got to bank all of my random event stuff. And now we have the Leo random green log. So if you go here into other and random events, you can see we have every single Leo item there is. And we have the emotes as well. So now we are getting lamps from the Leo random as well, which is a very, very nice thing. Uh, just a couple more random event items to go. For some reason, I don't have like any camo items. I haven't got a single Sergeant Damien random. But yeah, it's nice to have some more inventory space at least. Whoa, what is this? A golden bull, a clue bull elite. This is the first time I'm getting an elite loot free. I'm here and Letia seamstress shop in Lydia. Yeah, that is going to take a little while before we get there, I suppose. Um, yeah, we are probably dropping this one. But I am getting quite a lot of medium glues and others, so um, maybe at some point we get a Relica step. I think there's two medium steps in Relica and nothing else. Uh, so far I haven't got any, but um, we'll see if we get one in the future. Hello, it's me, Editing Lunta here. I just wanted to get your feedback on the Blender scene in the first little section of the video. Did you like it or did you hate it? Do you want to see more of it or less of it? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. I'm still kind of learning how to make animations and everything in Blender. And to be honest, I spent way too long making that little animation. So just give me some feedback. And now that you're not in full screen mode anymore and you are in the comment fields, you might as well just click the like and subscribe buttons just above there. Just, just right there, there. Go ahead and click those. Yep, back to the video. Well, 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 there we go. Level 81 fishing members can now catch manta rays. And uh, yeah, we do not have the big shark yet. So at the moment on the graph, we are right around this little diamond. Uh, yeah, going a little bit dry. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll just keep on going. I really want the big shark this episode.
It has been about a week since the last clip that you saw. Valamo came out just a couple of days ago and I've been playing on my main, making some videos from there and uh, just AFK fishing on the Relica account. And as you can see, we are almost uh, halfway to level 82 and uh, over 330k cash at the moment. No big sharks yet, but we do have this lamp. And uh, obviously this lamp is going into smithing as everything else. A nice little 380 XP boost right there. But yeah, I still have a lot to do in Malamo, a lot to explore, and I'm just gonna keep on AFK fishing here while I am on the PC and playing Valamo on my main. And yeah, we'll just see how dry we go for the big shock. Well, there's at least a little milestone. We are now past 400k cash, and we have our first camo piece as well, the camo top. So that's something, I guess. And yeah, only 57k XP left to go until level 82 fishing, so... Oh, it is a grind and a half, this big shark, isn't it? And that is a very, very sad milestone, level 82 fishing. We can now fish minnows in the fishing gill, which is not too far away. But that means that we are almost two times as dry for the big shark. Here is the graph for you to look at again. At the moment we are 9126 sharks deep into the grind and the probability to get the big shark at any point during this grind has been 83.8% so we are in the unlucky 17% at the moment. Uh, hopefully that will change. Next milestone would be level 83 when we have almost a 90% chance to get one. But that is unfortunately not happening in this episode. I am sick and tired of two-tick fishing for now, on AFK fishing for that matter, and I just want to do something else for a moment. And to celebrate the occasion of level 82 fishing, I have a mystery box right here from a random event. Let's see. Yep, that is very fitting, I suppose. Better luck next time. <laughs> I really hope so, man. I really hope so. So the next grind we are getting into is smithing once again. We still need level 49 smithing. We are at 38 at the moment. And 49 we need for the bullseye, lance and frame. And obviously the steel plate legs and the steel plate body as well that we need to make. And I'm probably going to do a combination of silver mining and lance killing yet again. Uh, we'll just start with the pickaxe right here and uh, yeah, let's get into it. There's the first level of the grind, level 63 strength. Oh, you just love to see the drops coming in. I made all of these smithing drops into highlight drops, so you can see the purple light coming in whenever we get a nice smithing drop. 5 iron ore is very, very nice smithing XP. And once again, we are drowning in tin without any copper to see anywhere. Uh, I guess I'll have to start juggling these on the table once again. Oh boy. And this is why landsinging is so much more fun than silver mining and smithing. The big XP drops 37 XP each from the steel bars. And we have a couple of bronze bars stacked up as well and some additional tin right there. But yeah, getting the big XP drops at a time is like a very nice dopamine rush. Uh, it really pays off when you stack these up. There we go, 105 steel arrowheads. We are going to attach them right there. 75 fletching XP each from the five, 15 sets of these. Ah, uh, you'll love to see it. There we go. And some bronze bars as well. These are going into knives, so we can do some more two-tick fishing with the bronze knives. Uh, I haven't used too many of those. I still have like over 200, so they last for a very long time when you are two-tick fishing. If you don't, uh, f*** up at any point. <laughs> uh, one of the best ones, the steel bar right away from Lanzig. And we have a beekeeper's hat. A nice little random event reward. Still need a couple more of those to finish the set off, but uh, it's nice to have one of them. And actually, now that I look at it, we only need one more, the beekeeper stop, and then we are completely done with the beekeeper random, so then we could get flax, and we could make a short bow at some point. Uh, probably not going to be all that useful for now, but in the future, it might be useful, I suppose, so I'm saving this hat. A Fremenic shield, a 1 in 512 drop from uh, Lensic. Unfortunately, very useless at the moment, but... It's always pretty cool to see these uh, very rare drops coming in. And with that kill, we get some bones, bury them for level 30. Prayer, not a... Oh, 67 combat as well. Not a new prayer, but a nice little milestone. And another 5 iron ore coming in. And running out of inventory space again, so I guess we have to go and smelt these up. But I just squeezed level 64 strength in there beforehand. Now let's go ahead and smelt these up. 
Mm -mm -mm. We are eating good tonight, folks. But I think that is going to do it for Lanza King for now. And I'm going to move into some silversmithing for a while. Put on our skilling gear. <laughs> Looking like an absolute chat, of course. Uh, yeah, let's go and get some silver ore. Today's fun relic of facts is going to be a little bit different since it has all to do with cows and lies. As we all know, there is nothing to do in Relica before completing the Fremenic Trials, and even the wiki states that all features can only be used by players who have completed the Fremenic Trials. However, this is a lie, as there is one exception to this rule, the cow. The cow can be accessed and milked by anyone, and maybe for that reason, the dairy churn is also free to use before completing the trials, making it the only interactable feature in Relica that can be accessed before the completion of the trials. So in addition to the vegetable fields and fishing spots, you can churn your own butter and cheese and enjoy a healthy and nutritious meal before taking on the trials. The first mining level of this one, 46, there we go. According to this, we need 4,370 silver bars to level 49. So this is going to be a quite a lot of grinding to get that level, but it's still going to be a lot faster than Lanzigin, so... I guess we are mining and smelting 4,000 silver bars. Uh, that should get us to like 600 and something thousand gold, at least. So so yeah, the silver bars sell for 75 coins each, and the nature runes that we have stacked up sell for 90 coins each. And after selling five of them, they are dropping to 52 and 63 coins each. So I think I'm going to sell 10 per world, hop world, sell another 10, mine another 20, smelt them up, sell them up, you know, you know the deal. The first smithing level of the video, 39, 10 more to go. It is a Friday evening and the chat is going crazy, as usually on Friday evenings we are trying to do AQPWs, but everyone keeps interrupting us, so I'm gonna get my revenge and do it here in the public chat. You cannot stop me here, I'm alone in Relica. There we go. Uh, don't include this clip, maybe. Level 48 mining. Oh, there's a crushed star right there. I wonder what the guys are thinking. Like everybody's just mining the crushed star with <laughs> dragon pickaxes. I'm just mining here for silver hopping worlds. Big level 40 smithing. And we could now smelt gold ore and make steel battle access. Unfortunately, we do not have gold in Relica, but oh, that's 775 total level as well. But yeah, that is big level 40 smithing. And with that, just a couple more natures and we are over 500k, so that should be enough for the fletching grind if my calculations are correct. And we still need a couple hundred thousand, or like a hundred thousand more for the archer's helmet and the farce helmet. So I think about 600,000 should be enough for both the level 65 fletching and uh, the farce and archer's helmet. And we probably should have all of that money at the end of this smithing ride. If we do the silver boss all the way, we are going to get like at least 100k, I should, I expect. And that is going to be the last of the nature runes. We are up to 518k and now the money is going to slow down a lot. We are getting about like 50 GP each from the silver boss if I'm selling everything in one world. And hopping world just makes the whole thing a lot slower. So I think I'm just going to... Sell 20 per world, and um, we should still get to 600k, no problem. And if we don't, I can still pickpocket, and I can steal nature runes and sell those, and anything like that. 49 mining, and a big level of 50 mining. Uh, nothing really new there, for me at least. And there we have level 42 smithing, steel kite shields. Not as good as the Fremenic shield, my boy. 51 mining and level 43 smithing nothing new there so i think that is the steel claws level again and we have six levels to go but at this point i think i'm gonna go and kill some lensix yet again because at level 41 we had the ability to make steel chain bodies and that is actually our best in slot armor for Lancet killing at least. Uh, it's not a chunk task. The steel plate body is the chunk task because it is the best melee armor overall that we can get. But uh, let's go ahead and kill a few Lancet, get some steel boss and make that chill, chill, steel chain body. <laughs> Mm 
No, that is the wrong one. That is copper ore. I'm still going to take it. It's always nice to get some more smithing XP. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Five iron ore right there. Now let's go ahead and mine some coal and make these steel bars. There we go, so now let's make the chain buddy, our best in slot for crush defense, plus six crush defense over the steel chain buddy, so not uh, amazing at all, but eh, it's decent. And uh, we have two steel bars left over, and we can actually make another best in slot, which is the steel mace. And that is a best in slot prayer, plus two prayer bonus. So that is also a mini chunk task right there. And for the last steel bar, we can also make one more chunk task available to us, and that is uh, steel knives, which is the best range equipment that we can equip. Level 5 is uh, required for these, so we need to get level 5 range, and then uh, we can use the steel knives, and that is also a chunk goal as well. So it's time to exterminate some chickens. That's it, level 5 range. Let's go ahead and equip the steel knives, and that is a mini chunk goal as well done. Let's see these in action. Nice damage right there. <laughs> and we are out. That's it. Okay, um, Okay. so a couple of little chunk goals done. The steel mace, the steel knives, and the steel chain body. All done and dusted. Alrighty, I will see you back at the silver mines. The moly random, that is always money. Let's go ahead and do it. And what do we get? Two uncut rubies. Um, unfortunately, we cannot unnote these. Otherwise, I would cut them up and sell them. But we just have to sell them noted like this. They're still like 100 coins or something. So not too bad. Back at the silver mines, that is level 53 mining. And level 45 smithing. Only four more levels to go. That is beautiful. Level 54 mining. And that is going to be level 46 mything. We could now make the steel plate legs, but I'm going to save them until I get level 49 so we can make everything at once. And uh, yeah, closing in on that 600k mark, we have 577k at the moment. So the silver bar mining is going pretty nicely. I am happy to announce you that I have perfected the tick mining technique of silver. Basically, all you have to do is click on the ore, click back once, click back on the ore, and there you go. So easy. Uh, I have no idea if this is even working or doing anything, but it seems to be kind of making this a little bit faster, I suppose. So there we go. And as you can see, it doesn't always work. It just gives you a double roll at the ore chance, if I'm correct. So yeah, I suppose it makes it a little bit faster. Level 47 smithing, two more levels to go. That is getting so, so close. Uh, like 3,500 silver ore in. I'm slowly losing my mind here. And with these silver bars, we should be making 600k. There we go. 600k and 158 coins on top of that. And we are still not done with the smithing grind. Uh, but now we should have enough money for the fletching grind and for the helmets. So let's go ahead and check how much they actually are. I think they are like 70, yeah, 78k each. So we're going to need 150k for these. And then we're going to have 450k left over for the fletching grind. And that is like 200,000 something uh, headless arrows that we can make. So that should be enough, I think. And we're still going to get a little bit more from this grind. So... Yeah, that should be enough money. I'm kind of glad that I went this route instead of the Lanzix, because with the Lanzix I wouldn't have gotten as much money as I really have now. So this definitely helps with the fletching grind. And this might be the final mining level of this grind. Level 56 mining. I might get one more, but uh, yeah, we are getting very close to the end. And I also finally got the last piece of the beekeeper outfit. So the beekeeper top is the final one. We have the full set now. 
And here's the random event log, so we have everything else except the steel baguette and the two camo pieces for whatever reason, but yeah, we have the full beakerbur outfit, so next time we might get some flax if we want to. 48 smithing. You can now make steel blade buddies. Uh, we already had one, so that junk task is already done, but um, I sold it because I needed some inventory space. I'm holding the camo outfit at the moment. But just one more smithing level to go, and then we can make all the steel items that we need. The steel blade body, the steel blade legs, and the bullseye lantern frame. And then we are finally done with smithing in this junk. I can't wait to go back to hunting sharks. <laughs> and this is going to be the final mining level 57. And uh, just about a half level of smithing to go, and we are done. Just a few more hours of silver mining. As I said earlier, I am slowly losing my mind here, and now it is completely lost. I found a way of mining silver without ever taking a pickaxe out. Look at this. <laughs> that is so cool. Instant mining. I just click, instantly move two tiles away, and then click back at the rock, and it will mine it without ever showing the pickaxe in my hand. That is a very, very weird and fun interaction if you ever want to hold a, like a quiz night or something for your friends about RuneScape. Who the hell does that, by the way? But um, yeah, that is something that's possible. You can mine stuff without ever showing your pickaxe. Let's see it one more time. So start like this, click away, two tiles, click back, and it works. That is so weird. RuneScape is just weird, dude. Three... Two, one, and 49 smithing. You can now make bullseye lantern frames. That has taken me probably close to 100 hours. From level 1 to 15, only killing lanzix. From level 15 to 49, killing lanzix and mining about 4.5 thousand silver ores and smelting them and selling them. Oh boy, the final playtime at this moment is 14 days and 5 hours, so that is, what, almost 350 hours so far? That is quite something. Let's sell the rest of these and check the cash stack. We have 260,862 coins, so that is definitely enough for everything that we need to do in this chunk. So now it is just a matter of completing the chunk tasks. Let's get a harpoon, get some sharks and pay you one final visit to our friend Lanzig. One final time, let's see how many kills we need. Uh, we're gonna need 10 iron ore to get everything that we need. The steel plate body, the steel plate legs, the bullseye lantern frame, and uh, probably nothing else. So yeah, here we go again. Oh, that is tin ore, that is not the correct... And why am I picking this up even? I don't need smithing levels anymore. Get away from me, tin ore. I don't need you. Uh, how do I... Yeah, here we go. Yep, we don't need tin ore anymore. We need only 10 iron ore and that is everything. So the tin is going to the ground. Feels extremely weird leaving the tin on the ground because these are 1 in 51 drops and I've been hunting these for the past like 100 hours. So yeah, just leaving that here kind of pains me a little bit, but that is what it is. That's the stuff. Five iron ore, just five more to go and we are done. That was pretty fast, maybe like 10 kills or something. Not too bad. Yes, we are done. Oh my god, that was like four kills later or something. Maybe like 15 kills in total. And we have our 10 iron ore. Now we just need to go and get some coal. Turn all of these into steel bars and that is smithing done. Feels unbelievable, dude. Okay, moment of truth. Does this work here? Oop, no. So, no. <laughs> I think it might work. It just uh, is a chance-based thing. It gives like a double roll of the ore. So it's not like a guaranteed success or anything like that. Oh, you joker, you game. You're giving me an uncut emerald. I was really hoping I would get the uncut diamond back from this grind. From the 4,000, 5,000 silver and all of the coal that we are mining. But nope, we don't have an uncut diamond, so we still need to get that back to get our fletching and crafting goals done at some point. And I suppose it will have to be either mining or big net fishing for caskets. So that emerald is like a kick in the balls. 
first 10 coal acquired. Now we gotta go and smelt these so we get some more inventory space. First five steel bars are done. Let's go and get 10 more coal and then we are completely done. That is it. The last coal. Oh my god, that feels surreal. Oh, I don't need to mine anything anymore. This iron pickaxe has gone through some stuff, I gotta say. Oh, uh, you served me well, old friend. You're gonna stay there forever now. I don't think I really have to mine anything else in this chunk anymore. And the last steel bars are coming through right now. Ten steel bars ready to go. Let's go ahead and make the final stuff. Uh, first of all, the bull's eye lantern. The grind is finished. Level 49 smithing done. Bull's eye lantern done. There's the steel plate body. And then the steel plate legs. Our best in slot armor in this chunk. All done. There we go. Let's put them on. Oh my god, he is an actual Chad. Look at that. Oh boy, we are looking like an actual champ right now. I love that look. It's like a, such a Viking Fremenic. Really like a very thematic look. And yeah, the Bulls Island Zen is just there. We can't really do anything with it. And the last steel bar I'm actually going to make into a steel axe. Since we still need that level 65 fletching, and I need to cut down some more palisades and docks and boats and stuff like that. So there we go. That is the smithing done. You now have my permission to subscribe to the channel. And this is what the defense bonuses are looking like with our best in slot gear. The full steel armor, framing shield, berserker helmets and the capes and boots and stuff like that. Plus 107 to plus 110 in all of the styles. Actually not that bad, to be honest. That's a pretty decent gear setup for one chunk, to be honest. And we have the framing plate as well, which is basically an adamant scimitar, so this is not that bad at all. That is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, a big, big thank you to all the channel members for making this possible. And we also have a couple of members that join the club. We have Kai, Not a Nerd Man, Tom XO, Grayson, Teeters, Cell Metal 8, and Bad Raptor Games. And obviously, in the Runa tier, we have Acorns to Earth. Thank you so, so much to every single one of you beautiful people for making all of this content possible. And thank you to every one of you for watching. There is a pretty high chance that in the next video we are already rolling and moving out of Relica. So if you don't want to miss that, remember to subscribe to the channel. And with that said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next episode.